This can't be possible. You must be mistaken. Orestes can never be the Silver Lily. But of course he's not. Do you have any solid proof to support this accusation? My brother isn't the rubber, Franklin. I'm begging you to stop all this nonsense. He certainly does not need to steal from anybody. Listen, just go out and continue searching for that mass robber. Look for him, because no one is taking away my husband. Everybody knows this man wants to destroy me. But then he can't do that because I'm a law-abiding citizen. So he finds flimsy excuses in order to send me to jail. If Orestes and the Silver Lily were only one person, then I would have noticed that fact by this time. We traced the phone call made by the Silver Lily to you at the police station. Mm -hmm. And it was traced to the bar that you own. That's right, and it's precisely because the Chameleon Bar is owned by Orestes. Uh, Do you think it's just a big coincidence now? Oh, no, I don't think so. Uh, I wasn't aware you owned a bar, my son. There are a lot of things that you aren't aware about your son, and I'll gladly share with you this information. Let's go now. Listen, you're not fooling me, Franklin Guerrero. I'm very sure that this whole thing is a setup because you just want to take revenge on Orestes. Because you hate him. Because you know I'm in love with him and not you. Hey, hey, hold on. <sighs> what do you mean uh, by that? Is what Cheeky's saying the truth, Franklin? Is it true that you're in love with her? Evidence. I cannot take the chance that someone might steal this. <laughs> I should be the only one who knows. Mr. Policeman, I know you're actually in love with me. You like me. You shut your mouth, Chicky. Listen, don't provoke me. Franklin told me a woman disappointed him very much. Could that girl be Chicky? Answer me, Carreño. Are you in love with Chicky? Is that why you want to destroy me? Because you're jealous? Yes, you're right there, my darling. You're right. He's trying to destroy you because he knows that you're the only one I love, my darling. Liner, why don't you tell him that it was you who invited me to your bed? Franklin, is it true that you've fallen in love with Chicky, but she's always treated you so badly? It's obvious that woman loves you, Villanueva. She did all that drama just so I won't take you to prison. But then I'm so sorry, Mrs. Villanueva, because your husband will come with me to the police station. No! No, you cannot take away my arrests like he was a criminal. I won't allow you to do this to him! Mrs. Chicky, listen, please calm down unless you want to go to prison too. Don't worry, my son. I'm going to confer with some lawyers. Soon you'll be cleared of all these charges against you. Come on. You should stop raising your hopes so high, Mr. Villanueva. I finally have the Silver Lily. Better come with me now. Because you will rot in prison. Let's go. No! No! No, Orestes, no! Oh, let me go, no! Let me go, Roman, let me go! No way, sweetie, no way! No one forced you to strip at the bar, no. right? You woke the devil in me, and you know the only way I can quiet down. No, no! Baby, but then, but then, why like this? Why do you have to take me by force now? Because that's me, Ariana, a savage! And you used to like it, hmm? Yes, until now I like it. Listen, darling, listen. I still like it, but then, but then now, now, I just want to hug you because I have a headache. Come on, please, I beg you, please. Whatever you say, my baby sugar. <laughs> That's nice of you. Leave me, please. Just go out for a few minutes so that, so that I can prepare a little surprise for you. <sighs> I'll go out, I'll go out, sweetie. Yes, go now. But then you better hurry up. Mm -hmm. This thing can't wait long. Yes. And now what to do? Hello? Hello, Jordi? Please, I beg you, come and save me. Roman kidnapped me and brought me to this house, and I'm afraid of what he might do to me. Please, I beg you, Jordi, come and get me now. Help me. I beg you, come and get me. That man definitely lost his mind while locked up in prison. I don't know why Hosema could even think of asking me to take him back. Olympia, it just means that he hasn't forgotten you and that he continues to love you. Don't you get it, Roque? I'm now Olympia Mercuri, a woman very different from the woman he once met in a bar, the one he rejected when he found out she was pregnant. You be careful, Olympia. You know perfectly well that Captain Sevilla is sane and his feet are set firmly on ground. I want you to know that he even asked me if you attempted to take his life. 
Yes, and what did you tell him? Nothing. You know very well I cannot betray you. And he told me he tried his best to save that Greek and his wife as well. But then he couldn't. My Captain Civilian knows that the real Olympia Mercury is already dead. But then you didn't tell him that you killed her, correct? No. But then I couldn't help feeling that I was a traitor to him. You listen well. You should side with someone, Rocky. Are you with me now, or are you with Captain Sevilla? You can't hold me here forever, Carreño. You may suspect that I'm the Silver Lily, but you don't have any solid evidence. But I have to come up with a way that would convince him that the Silver Lily and I are two different people. Orestes. Belio, what are you doing here? I'm not supposed to see anyone. How'd you get in? You see, I pleaded so hard so Franklin will let me see you. I see. Well, you saw me, Belia, but I don't feel like talking now. No, you don't understand me. You, uh, it's just, I want to know what's happening, what's going on. What part of my predicament don't you understand? It's your being locked up here and the fact that you were taken from your house as if you were a Well, criminal. why don't you go ask your friend, Carreño? No, uh, no, you, uh, you should tell me the truth. Orestes, tell me the truth, will you please? I want to know if you're the Silver Lily. I really don't like two-faced people, and you're very aware of that, Rocky. So you tell me whose side you're really on. Olympia, Olympia, don't force me to make a choice. <laughs> Besides, I don't understand why you're so disturbed by Captain Sevilla. The person is back here now. It's not the very same Osema that you and I both knew a very long time ago. You yourself told me that he's dead, didn't you? Yes, that means he isn't a problem to you or well, anyone. Well, he is. Because all he has to do is make a small mistake, and that will get us into big trouble. He must be suspecting by now that it was you who really murdered that Greek woman. And he had to go to prison because of a crime that you had committed. Uh, forgive me for interrupting, Mrs. Olympia. Come on, woman, what do you want? Can't you see that I'm busy now? Well, something bad happened. It's Orestes. What? What happened to my son? The what? police came and took him to the station. But but why? What happened to him? The policemen have accused Orestes of being the Silver Lily. Tell me the truth, Orestes. You're really the Silver Lily? Do you think I am? Uh, oh, uh, well, I don't know what to say because I'm really very confused now. I can't tell you the truth, Belia. I'm sorry. I just can't. Franklin tells me that. That you were the one who made the phone call from the bar, and he's really certain that call was made by you. Is that the truth? No. Belia can't know it was me. It isn't safe for her. Besides, Karenia must have a way of hearing what we're saying. Orestes, Franklin is so certain that it's really you, so please tell me. If you believe so much in Franklin, what are you doing here, Belia? I'm here because I believe the Silver Lily is a good and honest man who doesn't deserve to be locked up in prison. Belia, take a good look at me. Do you really think that I'm capable of stealing from the rich and giving to the less fortunate? Um, oh well, if I had to be honest then, I would be very happy if the Silver Lily was you. That would answer so many questions. And tell me the truth, Orestes. Please, come on. Is it you? <sighs> what have they done now? How dare the police take my son like that as if he were a criminal? The terrible policeman is really obsessed with Orestes. This is because of jealousy, nothing else. Of course. That common cop was madly in love with that fatso Valentina and Orestes got in his way. Now he's apparently interested with that Bellio de la Rosa woman as well. Correct. It's just a personal vendetta, and that policeman is guilty of abusing his authority. But then my son can be the Silver Lily. Can't he get that? Because that crook broke into this house once, remember? How could he think Orestes would actually steal from his own family? You're right. The boy isn't capable of doing this. Don't you see? Everything that's happening to us right now seems to be the doing of... Oh, that Faso and that skinny one. Those two are such wicked women. They're both trying to destroy my family. We have to get rid of those two, Olympia. We have to pressure the judge to rush the results of that test, so we'll finally yes, know who that yes, third Yes, 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 yes. Please, do me a favor and call a previous right now. The first thing that we have to do is get my son out of jail. Is it true, Orestes? Are you the Silver Lily? <sighs> Confess now, Villanueva. What are you waiting for? But then, Chief, do you really believe he'll fall into that trap? Mm -hmm. I would understand it, and, and I wouldn't be capable of judging you. I admire him. I really admire that man a lot. And I have to confess. 
confess I'm dying to know who he really is. Come on, villain Rava, just tell us the truth. <laughs> From the way you talk about him, it seems to me that you don't just admire him like a hero. You're attracted to him. You know, I'm not sure, but I have to acknowledge that. That I have deeper feelings for him, too. And if I really am him? <laughs> oh, my sweetie. That's why I like it. Ready, willing, and able. <laughs> oh, but then, but then, but then, wait, Roman, wait a moment. Won't you even offer me a drink before we start? You used to do no, no, that. No, 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 you don't need a drink, my sweetie. Stop wasting any more time. No, but wait a while, wait a You've while. You've had enough drink tonight. Huh? Stop, Roman Fonseca. I can oh. finally lock you up for sexual abuse, you filthy bastard. Oh. <laughs> May I know who I was abusing? Ariana? Ha! <laughs> You cannot charge me with that. Because there were so many people who had witnessed that girl there. She was stripping at the club. She did it in front of everyone. That's not important. Can you arrest him now, Jordi? Please, I beg you, arrest him now. I can't do that, Ariana. Because that criminal was able to pay his bail. And he even sued Belia for sexual harassment. You're such a bastard. Stupid boy. Well, she deserves the sexual harassment charge because all she did was seduce him. That's why he dumped you at the wedding. I really hate you, Romano. No, 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 no. Ariana, hate control you. yourself. Calm down now. Just stop that. That won't get you anywhere. And you, filthy bastard, you and I will see each other again, mister. And when that time comes, pray to God that I'm in a good mood then. Come on, Ariana. Let's go. I'm feeling bad. Damn you. Would you like it if I really was him? Uh, Come on, finish what you said, villain, Reva. Tell the truth now. Say you're really the damn thief. Come on, say it. Who sent you here? It was your friend Carreño, right? I want you to leave. Get out of here and tell your friend he's mistaken. And I'm not falling for any of his tricks. Oreste, sorry, what's the matter? What's the matter? I'm fed up is what's the matter. I'm so fed up with Carreño and his tactics. He wants a confession from me for something that I didn't even do. It's your fault. You got me in trouble, Belia. If you hadn't been going around with that criminal, then your friend Carreño wouldn't have set his sights on me. And I wouldn't be in here right now. Don't talk like that, Orestes. The only reason I came here is to see how I can help you. I don't need your help. Get out. Get out. Just leave. Uh, but... Belia, come with me now. I was so stupid to think that you could be a noble and brave man and that you might actually be the Silver Lily when you're really nothing but a coward. <sighs> Make me confess that easily, Carreño. You're not gonna fool me with your tactics. Orestes is acting like a jerk, Franklin. Did you see how he reacted? Don't mind me, Valentina. Besides, you helped us a lot. Hmm. Wait there. I, I helped. You said I helped a lot. Franklin, don't tell me what Orestes said was right. Did you allow me to talk with him so that I could set the guy up? Valentina, understand me. I want him to make a confession. <sighs> I see. So that's why you let me go inside. Oh, this is just so perfect! And I guess that means you were spying on us and you were listening to everything we talked about. No, I did this in order to protect you. Valentina, you pretend to be strong, but you're the same naive girl I've always known. <sighs> Understand me. Franklin, listen well. It hurts me a lot that you used me in that manner, and I don't get what you're really up to. You see, I greatly admire the Silver Lily, and I just don't understand why you seem very determined to destroy this man now when you've made this your mission. Because it's what I should do. This is my duty. Understand, this man is a criminal. He practices his own brand of justice. That's against the laws we should follow. Yes, you're right. Laws that don't always work, and you know this quite well. But never mind that. That's enough. You wasted your time because Orestes is not the Silver Lily. He doesn't even come close to being him. They're not the same person. Goodbye. Come on. Please excuse me. These people were present at the bar when the Silver Lily had made that phone call. This man here says that the one who made the call was Orestes Villanueva. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was so much fun. <laughs> mm. Look, here comes that idiot, Aquiles Villanueva. <laughs> yes, here he comes now. <laughs> you think you saw the pictures I took of his little maid with me? Those were artistic shots. <laughs> <laughs> looks like he saw them. Yeah. Look at his expression. He looks like he could kill someone. <laughs> That's funny. I want to talk to you now, you bastard. Well, what is it, Aquiles? 
You know, it's really a shame that you didn't bring your wife with you because I would have loved to keep her company. No. Tonight, no. Hmm? But I did bring something for you. I don't know how much longer I can put up with this. Carreño has me cornered. He's wearing me out so that I'll confess. No. No, he's not gonna get me. I won't confess to anything. I'm not gonna tell him I'm the Silver Lily. So what now? Are you ready to tell the truth? Or do you want me to lock you up in a cell filled with rats and cockroaches? Perhaps this will refresh your memory. Wait, let me guess. It must be police brutality week, huh? And I'm the winner of the first prize? <laughs> Goodness, Villain Rava. Your upbeat mood really surprises me, man. Don't you worry, because in jail you won't be so happy. You don't have any proof against me, Carreño. And you're aware of it. And that's why you're bursting at the seams now. You're mistaken, Villain Rava. Stop doubting my intelligence. I have a witness. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's a witness? Mm -hmm. Someone at the bar saw you talking on the telephone. Well... Who is it, then? Come on in. Come in, please. I'll kill you, you okay, I'm, I'm gonna up, get no, you! No. It was your wife that came to me. What did you expect me to do, huh? You're a liar. You tried to seduce her ever since you met that her. That woman's not a saint, and I found that out for myself. Just face the truth, no, Aquinas. No. Huh? Or maybe you're aware she sneaks around. Damn, Damn you! Right? Stop, Stop, it. It. Stop that. Uh -oh. Damn out. you! Watch out! You bastard! You tell me the truth now, you bastard! Tell me the truth! Why are you here? Are you here to testify against me? This gentleman here is my witness, Restes. He was the one who saw you talking on the telephone at the chameleon bar. Wait a moment. Let me talk, Inspector. Let's see if you can still deny that you're actually the Silver Lily. Hmm? So then, Jose, what was it you told Inspector Carreño? Just the truth. I told him that you were talking on the telephone at the bar. Of course, there were others who used the telephone. About ten more people. But then what are you saying now? You told me about him. I would like to know if you noticed anything strange when he made that phone call. I want to make a deal. But first, I want to talk to Belia and the Can you hear me? No. Nothing that suspicious. You see, Carreño, it appears that your plan to get me didn't work at all. I myself used the telephone minutes after Orestes. Does this mean I'm now a suspect in this matter as well? Then let it be so. My freedom is in your hands, Inspector. What happened between you and Ninfa? How did those pictures end up with my mother? It was all a setup, you bastard. Tell me now! No, no, you got it all wrong, Achilles. That girl has been hitting on me ever since I met her. But I avoided her because I respected you. You're lying. You're lying to me. I don't believe you. You have to believe me, Achilles. You have to believe me. She invited me to her room every night. She's the one who wanted to get together. That's what happened. She said she was only marrying you for the money. I swear that's what really happened. That's a lie, you bastard. I don't believe you. I planned the whole thing about the pictures in order to save you because you're my friend. She doesn't deserve I'm certain my mother paid you to do all this. Tell me how those pictures ended up in my mother's hands. You tell me the truth, you bastard. Take it easy, man. I don't want to die. Listen, I went to your house to give you those pictures, but you weren't there. Please, you have to believe me. I'm telling you the truth, man. Then tell me what happened. I saw your mother there, and I gave her the pictures instead. She said she was going to hand over the pictures to you, and that's what really happened. Honestly, you have to believe me. I'm not lying to you. Please, put the bottle down. You betrayed me, Ninfa. You have betrayed me! I hope you die now, you traitor! I hope that you rot in hell, you unfaithful maid! I hope you go to hell! If talking on the telephone is considered a crime now, then... that means I should be put in jail also. No, 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 wait a moment, wait a moment, Mr. Jose. Did you notice anything strange in that call? Can you say what time he used the telephone? Just leave the old man alone, Carreño. I think he already told you enough. What'll you do? Will you arrest everyone who admits they used the telephone at the bar? Listen, I hope what you told me is what happened. If I find out you're hiding something, I can arrest you for being an accessory to this crime, you know? I know. 
Mm -hmm. I barely even know that boy, you know. What will I get if I cover up for the truth for him? The only thing I want to do here is to relate what happened. Can I go? Yes, you can go now. Leave. Excuse me. I cannot believe how lucky you can be, Villeneuve. I can't say the same thing about you, because the opposite is happening to you. Carreño, you've been trying so hard to find evidence against me, and still you come up with nothing. I imagine you must be so mad and frustrated, because your plan hasn't been working, and your plan is crumbling to pieces. Don't act like you want, Villanueva. You listen. That man seemed too friendly with you. But then you wait and see, I'll get to the bottom of this. I promise you. All right. See you. Why did Jose help me out? What happened is really all your fault, Ariana. You were bound to get this problem. You mean that you're one of those men who mistakenly think that the woman deserved to be treated this way because they asked for it? No way, I don't. No, 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 no. I don't know. Nothing makes me madder than a man who abuses women, so just sit down and relax mm, now. Don't touch me. You think that. <sighs> Listen, Ariana, you cannot keep on living your life in this wild manner. In what manner? Like this partying nonstop and with different men. You have to be careful. Aren't you ashamed of what you're doing? Come oh, on. how handsome. I need a guard. Can it be you? I can hire you to be my private security guard. No, 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 no. Listen, if you want a security guard, place an ad in the newspapers. There are many unemployed men in this country. And please leave me alone because I have oh, to go. Oh, no, 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 don't go. I don't want you to go and leave me here all by myself. Now don't go. Listen, listen, I'm sure you'd rather stay with me now if I do this. Hey, 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 no, no, no. Put that back on. Come on, put it back. <laughs> Ariana, you're the... <sighs> Here I am, Gomez. <laughs> May I ask what it is that you want from me now? Listen, I don't understand why you had made me come all the way here when you could have just called me on the phone. For your information, I have more important matters to attend to. I got you. If the Great Queen is in no mood for us to have a serious talk, we could just postpone our meeting. I'm in no hurry now. You're not going to go anywhere. You shall stay right here if you don't want me to get that cigar and make an ashtray out of your filthy throat. Why all this violence? Olympia is perfectly aware she's dealing with a businessman. What is it that you found out regarding the investigation that I asked you to conduct? I want to know now. Look for it, Rocky. Look for it in those drawers. Look now. Gomez, now let's not waste each other's time and stop making it difficult for us. Tell us where the documents are. The information is up here. What are you saying? That I burned it. The proof is in my head. It's now. burned? Why did you do that? Yes. You're nothing but a terrible idiot. You're really out of your mind! Because I realized how much you will want that information from me. That it's worth a lot of money, it sure is. You'll have to pay me more, Olympia. You'll have to give me whatever I ask from you now. Oh no, no, Pandora. Don't create a scandal now like you usually do because I have an awful headache. Please wait a minute, Lollipop. Before you get angry, let me explain. I know that everything you saw just points against me, but then believe me, my darling, I'm innocent, and that's the truth. Well, of course. <laughs> and I suppose you also tell me that she was pointing a gun at your head. You cannot get away now, Yordi. You know what? Mm. Continue what you're doing because I don't care anymore. I'm going back to my room now. No, Pandora. Let Pandora, go, Pandora, wait. Go, Listen to me now, go. please. Did she dump you? <sighs> I want you to know I'm an expert in healing broken hearts. Let me show you what I can do. Huh? Yes. And do you know what else? You two deserve each other. You really make a perfect couple. Come to think of it, you made a mistake on which sister to go with. Listen, Pandora. I'm not interested in your money or that of anyone else in this house. I love you, my darling. Please don't do this to me. I didn't do anything I shouldn't, baby. Ooh. Oh! I don't want to hear you calling me lollipop or any endearment like that because I'm no longer your girlfriend. And so from now on, I don't ever want to see or have anything to do with you again. And have the decency not to do this here. I don't like seeing you making out with my sister. Now will you just leave? No, Pandora, please. I beg you, listen to me. <laughs> well, you keep on blackmailing me, Gomez. And for how long? Hmm? Don't push it, Gomez. Don't push it. Listen, Olympia has given you more than enough money for the share she already gave you. And what do I do if those shares she had given me go down tomorrow? What I need are guarantees. May I remind you, you already own a great deal of the resort. What else do you want? I want cash now. Cash. I want you to pay for my services. And cold hard cash starting now. Right now! You're a dirty bastard! I'm sure that it was none other than you who sold those fabricated drafts to Eva. No, never. I may be an ambitious man, 
but a traitor never. <clears throat> but then, listen, Olympia, stop being such a greedy woman, huh? Don't forget I've always been supporting you, and it's very convenient for you that I'm on your side. Do you know who you really are? Do you know what I think of you? Do you know what you are? You're a troublemaker, a dirty rat! And a no-good crook, too. You even smell like a big pile of trash. And that's what I think of you. Uh, because of what you just said, I'm now increasing the price of my services. Look, you damn! Damn you, hell, you bastard! Stop, You're a crook! You're a good-for-nothing bastard! No. You better tell me the results of your investigation, you dirty rat! Tell me who that woman really is, and you tell me now! Uh, uh, uh. Ninfa, what do you think you're doing? Why are you making the bed? Why don't you just tell Nareda to do that? Oh, no, Chubby. I don't like the thought of anyone doing my work. <sighs> and besides, this thing about me being the boss, I don't believe it. Oh, well, then, whether you like it or not, you better get used to being the boss because you're part of the family now, Mrs. Villanueva. Oh, but can't you see that they'll just make my life here a living hell? Ninfa, mm. you're not alone here. We have each other, and do you remember all those things I had to put up with them? <laughs> and besides, mm. don't worry about this, because in a very short time, we'll be able to get rid of that viper once and for uh -huh. all. Uh-huh, and how do we do this, hmm? Let me handle this. Look here. Oh. <laughs> what? Look here. Right here is an investigation conducted by my father about that woman. Oh, and you hid that here in this room, the room of arrest? Yes, of course. This is the last place that poisonous snake would think of looking for something like this, don't you think so? Oh. Think about it, Ninfa. Very soon, we'll discover the whole truth about the dark and secret past life of Olympia Mercuri. <laughs> what are you saying? What were you saying about the past of Olympia? Uh, uh. Come on, you damn... Talk! Talk! Tell me who that woman is. Talk! I want to know who Olympia, that woman is! Olympia, that's enough. Olympia, Olympia, yeah, Olympia, that's enough. Come on, let go of him. Let go of him. Olympia, 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 let go of him. Come on, that's enough. You're strangling him already, Olympia. That's enough. Come on, stay right there. That's enough. Stay there. I think he's dead. He's dead. So what if he's dead now? And may he rest in peace. May the eternal light shine upon his soul as well, right? Well, let me tell you that. That now we won't be able to find out if Belia is really Valentina Villanueva okay, or not. Why don't you shut up? There are other ways to find out if she's really the fat soul or not. So move aside and hand over the silver lily brooch. Hurry up, Brock, and give it now. This is what you get, you imbecile. Do you really think you could put one over the great Olympia Mercury? Huh? How could you even believe that I can be blackmailed? How naive you are to believe that you could, Gomez. You know the best part of all is that no one will know I killed you. Olympia, Olympia, do you think the police will buy the story that the Silver Lily really murdered this man? We'll have to make them believe he did it. Because this is the only way to prove that my son Orestes is innocent. That should do it. All right. How did it happen that you know something about the past of Olympia, Belia? I should leave you alone so you can talk about this. Excuse me. All right. See, the thing here is... Wanangel, in this envelope is an investigation by the father of Valentina concerning Olympia. Yes, I know that Luis Felipe investigated Olympia. What does that document say? What did he discover? Well, apparently Luis Felipe suspected Olympia of hiding something about her past that's horrible. Did he give proof of his suspicion? No, and luckily there was none. The letter only mentions his opinions and some speculations. Though I want to show you what's in here. Valentina said not to do that. You know, I could have a clue about her true identity. I had some people look into her background. But then apparently any information on Olympia's past is well hidden. It's almost like she never existed before. But I don't intend to rest until I discover the entire truth about Olympia, Juan Angel. The only thing I need is solid evidence. I'll help you with that. If Olympia is really the bad woman my brother thought she was... I myself will make certain she gets kicked out of this house. She'll no longer be a part of this family. I promise you. <laughs> but this paper reflects a fortune here, Belia. Yes. I don't get how Olympia managed to get the necessary funds, because we certainly don't have enough for this construction. Well, you see, the construction of that complex started just after her Aunt Celeste passed away, so that's when the money she needed came through. And I suspect that this project was funded with money from the inheritance of Valentina. 
But you know what else? This problem is worse than we first thought it was. Because Olympia has been very clever. It will be very difficult to prove that she stole the money for this project for my niece, Valentina. I'm very certain that Olympia had figured a way to fool Celeste so she could get the money of Valentina. I know this because I'm convinced that Celeste detested your wife. Well, then you must keep this document hidden. She mustn't find out that we're checking on her. Yes. Excuse me. May I know what you're doing here because this is the office of Mrs. Olympia? <laughs> the nerve! Listen, Roque. How dare you speak in that way to me? How can this be the office of Olympia? This room is located in the house of Valentina. She alone can decide for me to go inside any room that I want. And so please, get out! Get out! Go now! <laughs> we must do this investigation very discreetly, because if Olympia discovers that I found out something about her, uh -huh. we'll be in danger. Don't you forget uh -huh. that I can get much closer to her than you. Much yes. closer. You cannot forbid me from visiting my husband. I have a good mind to report you to your superiors. This is illegal. Go ahead, do what you want, Miss Model. Your husband is currently going through the interrogation process and no one can see him. I'm not just any person, my darling. You know I'm his wife, just to make that clear to you. Ah, what great acting. Bravo, Chicky. You're really a very good actress, aren't you? Huh? Right now you choose to stick up for your marriage. But when you get the urge to play with fire, then you don't care if your marriage Listen, goes to you the shut devil, up. do you? You shut up and you stop that! When will you understand that? What's between us? What happened to us before is now part of the dead past. History and long dead now. Do you get this? This is just great. I gather this means that the two of you still have the audacity to see each other. But, Dad, what are you doing in here? I know it all, Chicky. Your mother told me about the merrymaking happening between you two. Listen, Mr. Lorenz, please calm down because it isn't like that. Let so me... Dad, my innocent, I want you to tell me everything you did to my daughter. I have to find a safe place to hide these papers. No one must be able to find these papers, most of all the rest is. One day he'll know the true identity of his mother and everything she did, but for that to happen, I'll have to confirm that everything written on this document is the truth. A letter came for you. Who sent this letter? Doesn't say who the sender is, and they slid it under the front door. Mr. Gomez, ah. This fellow was the judge who sentenced in Olympia's favor. Remember oh, yes, I know, I know now. <clears throat> Dear Miss Belia de la Rosa, I have information concerning who you really are. Hi, please. Oh, no, my dear Lord. Oh, this cannot happen. What else did he say? Wait, wait, let's see. Olympia asked me to investigate you. She gave me your fingerprints, and now I've discovered who you really are. She had me investigated, that terrible slut. And what's this man's reason for telling you all this? Well, let's see. I'm writing it to see which one of you will pay the highest for what I found out, Olympia, or you. This will help me decide whether I keep quiet or tell the truth. Oh, my dear Lord, I have to talk with this man before Olympia finds out I'm Valentina Villanueva. Please, Mr. Lorenz, calm down or I'll arrest you. So now you're using your badge to threaten me right now. Uh, well, I think you're a no-good cop. Listen, Mr. Lorenz, I understand you're very upset between Chica and me, but... Uh... Nothing. Nothing has happened. Nothing at all, Dad. Nothing honestly How can you say nothing, Chiki? My God! Do you think I'm so stupid? I know a lot has already happened. And Carreño, you have to take responsibility for what you did. You... That's enough now, Lorenzo. This is a very big mistake you're making. But what do you mean by that, Carmela? That man over there has to pay for what has happened to my daughter. No, no, no. It isn't like that, Lorenzo. You and I really have to talk. Come on, let's go now. But, Excuse us. But then, Carmela. Let's go, Lorenzo. What what just happened, Chiki? Tell me. Could... Could you please explain to me what's going nothing, on? Nothing, Franklin, nothing. There's really nothing happening. Right now, the only thing here is a mother who really needs to go and talk with her husband. Franklin, I beg you, allow me to see Orestes, please. How come Carreño isn't aware of this thing, Carmela? Why doesn't he know? No, no, Chiqui doesn't want him to know she may be expecting his child. And besides, you must remember that we can go against her decision. Carmela, don't you see what will happen if we just do nothing? We cannot just keep quiet and watch while this terrible thing happens. Orestes believes the child she's carrying is his, while the real father goes free. But then listen, Lorenzo, if we did think about what could happen, you might end the marriage of Chiki and Orestes. She only wants to save their union, no matter what it takes. You'll just destroy it. No, no, no way. Orestes Villanueva is like the goose that lays a golden eggs for me. No, no. Well, well, the thing is, Carmela, I just meant, you know, you shouldn't do a thing like this to a man. Yes, I know that, but then I agree with you, but but then you know what Presa Jiki is so confused about this. And what if it turns out the child is really Orestes? Well, pray that happens. Because if ever that baby comes out looking like Mr. Policeman, there will be a big problem. Mm. I don't even want to imagine the terrible look that will be all over Olympia's face because Chiki had cheated on her son. That woman is capable of doing anything. <laughs> Okay.
cannot turn me down now. It's very important for me to talk with my husband and to know if he's doing all right and to find out if he needs anything. I'm sorry, I can't allow that. Franklin, how is Orestes? Where is he? Listen, Pandora, I was explaining to Chiki that Orestes is... They don't want us to talk with him as if he's a common criminal, and doing that's illegal, correct? But why won't you let us see him? Until we finish the process of interrogation, nobody's allowed to see him, Pandora. Oh, oh but Orestes is see my brother. allowed to see me, because what I have to tell him is very important. No one will see Orestes before I do. I'm his mother. Also, you took him in without due process. Ladies, please, calm yourselves. Is it true what I heard, that Orestes mm. has been detained here? Oh, no, no you Frank. haven't let him see him. I'm his wife. I don't think Orestes denies he's the silver lily, but the police don't believe him and think he's a criminal. That poor boy's in a big trouble. No, 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 no. No, man. You must be more positive about this problem. Orestes will be released in no time. Really? Yes. Oh. You know what, rubber ball? I'm also an admirer of that person. <laughs> the Silver Lily. Really? Of course. Because, you know, he reminds me of what I used to do long ago. I also cared about the less fortunate ones. And <sighs> though it's a thankless job, and it seems like a dirty work, you do what you can for the poor. <laughs> yes, <laughs> of course, but, but... No, no, well, yes, but then, but then... Well, Orestes won't do that because Orestes is someone who... Someone who's a professional and responsible, and between attending to the advertising agency and also taking care of this barbell, he wouldn't have yes, the time. Yes, yes, you have a point there. Yes, of course, you do have a point there. What you just said called my attention to a young man, successful as he is, running a bar in, in an area that's... Uh, so this is the bar that belongs to my son Orestes. And may I please know the reason why you're here? Yes. Orestes hired me to work here. It was very kind of him to take me. And why? Is there a problem here? Honestly, there is. There's a big problem. Because frankly, I'm getting very suspicious that we keep running into each other everywhere and all the time. And I like it even less that you have something to do with my son. I have more right to see him than anybody else here. I can give him legal advice. Orestes needs a friend right now. Well, all of you can just stay right here and continue arguing with each other because Franklin will let me go see him first and talk. Ladies, please understand me. In here, we have standard procedures and rules to be followed, so you better calm down or I'll lock you up. Wait, wait, wait. Listen, Mr. Policeman. Please listen to me. I'm perfectly aware that you don't think I'm a saint who merits your devotion. But then you have to accept the fact I'm also a mother with a God-given right to see and talk with her son. Oh, frankly, and honestly, the urgent thing that I have to mother. tell Orestes concerns matters of life well, and of listen, death. Franklin, you have to decide which one of us gets to see him. Franklin, how could you do this to me in my condition? Because you've been upsetting me despite the fact you're well aware I'm pregnant with this baby. Let's go now, baby. This primitive person doesn't want us to visit your father. Chiki, wait there. You can see Orestes. The relationship your son and I have is one of employer and employee. Now, if you don't like it, well, then you have to tell him. As far as I know, this body's Orestes's and not yours. You're always coming into the picture. First, I see you with my wife. Then you were there at the hostel of Sasa. Now you're working for my son. What do you really want? Just a word. This man only wants to get a job, and he has absolutely nothing to do with anything or anyone. That's it, yes. My friend here is telling the truth. The only thing I want to do is end my days in peace without complications. Yes, you know it'll be quite strange that after 25 years of incarceration, he'd mess up once again. Doesn't make sense, right? 25 years locked up in jail? But then who did you murder? Because that long a sentence must be for something serious. It doesn't always follow that a man does so much time because he killed someone. Uh, Mr. Juan Angel, please excuse me. Uh, Mr. Osema is a very good person and very honest. He's a man who's true to his word. And in fact, he even lied to the police trying to cover up for arrests. No, I'm not being fooled by that. All criminals and assassins don't ever change their colors. They can never change. There isn't any reason to be afraid of me, Mr. Juan Angel. Is there? My son, Orestes, is very sacred to me. And if you think that he's all alone, then you're mistaken. Orestes does have a father. And if you attempt to hurt my son, I will become the worst enemy that you've ever known. 
Francis, why is it that you don't want to see me? Do you know what I had to go through just so I could get in here? That policeman was determined not you to- You deceived me too many times, Chiki. But I never imagined that you were capable of getting intimate with Carreño. But then arrest us. <laughs> Orestes, you have to see. You have to understand that at that time I was feeling so terrible. I was very confused and so desperate. And well, you know, you rejected me the moment you discovered I was pregnant and... Admitted to yourself, didn't want to have this child. No. I never planned on having children with you. But now that you're pregnant, I want to be that child's father, Chiki. Yes. I owe you want this baby, I'll grant you that, Orestes. But then you don't want me. Don't you think that makes me feel bad? That makes me feel terrible because you... You don't seem to want, want me like when we first fell in love with each other. I... I so want that we become like that couple once again, my darling. Please forgive me now, please, I beg you, please forgive me. Listen, Chiki. I told you we'd work this out and I'd be with you. I'm here to support you. Don't ever think that you're alone. I promise that I'll do all that I can to correct this situation. I cannot leave here without seeing Arrestes first. My brother needs me right now. Lollipop, sweetie, my darling. Jordi, I believe that you and I already settled this matter last night. I'd like to ask you to stop calling me that because I'm nothing to you. Pandora, it's not right for you to treat me in this manner now. You're a very intelligent woman. You should know better. You shouldn't let yourself be... This isn't just something someone told me about you, Jordi. I witnessed this with my own eyes. Ariano's practically naked. No, what you think you see isn't always what it is, Pandora. That's what I was taught in the police academy. Your sister called me on the phone and begged me to rescue her from Roman, who was at the point of raping right, her. Right, and do you think I'll fall for that lady in distress story with you being the hero who comes to rescue her? Jordi, did you forget I know Ariana real well? Pandora, listen, I swear to you, I promise you, that nothing happened between me and your sister. Nothing happened. S how are you today, my super policeman? Oh, I came here so I could give your jacket back. I spent the night with it beside me. I promise you, that's exactly what happened. I behaved that way because I thought you were going to leave me for that wicked woman. And I believed that I would be forced to raise our baby all by myself. I thought I'd have to take care of him without his father, and that really scared me, Orestes. Honestly, I'm not prepared for something like this to happen. That's why I behaved so crazily. I'm just glad you now know better, and that you realized what a big mistake it was. <laughs> what she has inside her, what's under her chest, isn't a heart but a cold hard stone. It's, it's, it's all a lie, right, Chicky? What you're really worried about is that baby might screw up your body, that's all. Please forgive me, Orestes. I shouldn't have attempted to take the life of our baby. I know that was very wrong, but you know, you have to understand I was really so frightened and I was desperate as well. Chiki, listen to me. I won't ever let you raise our baby alone. <laughs> I'm right here for our child. My baby will not grow up without the love of his father. Oh, really, baby? I promise you, you're not going to do this alone. Oh, I love you, Orestes. I love you so much, my dear husband. <laughs> This can't be possible. You must be mistaken. Orestes can never be the Silver Lily. But of course he's not. Do you have any solid proof to support this accusation? My brother isn't a rubber, Franklin. I'm begging you to stop all this nonsense. He certainly does not need to steal from anybody. Listen, just go out and continue searching for that mass robber. Look for him, because no one is taking away my husband! Everybody knows this man wants to destroy me. But then he can't do that because I'm a law-abiding citizen. 
So he finds flimsy excuses in order to send me to jail. If Orestes and the Silver Lily were only one person, then I would have noticed that fact by this time. We traced the phone call made by the Silver Lily to you at the police station. Mm -hmm. And it was traced to the bar that you own. That's right, and it's precisely because the Chameleon Bar is owned by Orestes. Do you think it's just a big coincidence now? Oh, no, I don't think so. I wasn't aware you owned a bar, my son. There are a lot of things that you aren't aware about your son, and I'll gladly share with you this information. Let's go now. Listen, you're not fooling me, Franklin Guerrero. I'm very sure that this whole thing is a setup because you just want to take revenge on Orestes. Because you hate him. Because you know I'm in love with him and not you. Hey, hey, hold on. <sighs> what do you mean uh, by that? Is what Cheeky's saying the truth, Franklin? Is it true that you're in love with her? You may suspect that I'm the Silver Lily. But you don't have any solid evidence. But I have to come up with a way that would convince him that the Silver Lily and I are two different people. Orestes. Belio, what are you doing here? I'm not supposed to see anyone. How'd you get in? You see, I pleaded so hard so Franklin will let me see you. I see. Well, you saw me, Belia. But I don't feel like talking now. No, you don't understand me. You, uh... It's just... I want to know what's happening, what's going on. What part of my predicament don't you understand? It's your being locked up here and the fact that you were taken from your house as if you were a Well, criminal. why don't you go ask your friend, Carreño? No. Uh, no, you... Uh, you should tell me the truth. Orestes, tell me the truth, will you please? I want to know if you're the Silver Lily. I really don't like true-faced people, and you're very aware of that, Rocket. So you tell me whose side you're really on. Olympia, Olympia, don't force me to make a choice. <laughs> Besides, I don't understand why you're so disturbed by Captain Sevilla. The person is back here now, not the very same Osema that you and I both knew a very long time ago. You yourself told me that he's dead, didn't you? Yes, that means he isn't a problem to you or well, anyone. Well, he is. Because all he has to do is make a small mistake, and that will get us into big trouble. <sighs> Hello? Hello, Jordi? Please, I beg you, come and save me. Roman can't have been brought into this house, and I'm afraid of what he might do to me. Please, I beg you, Jordi, come and get me now. Help me. I beg you, come and get me. That man definitely lost his mind while locked up in prison. I don't know why Osama could even think of asking me to take him back. Olympia, it just means that he hasn't forgotten you and that he continues to love you. Don't you get it, Roque? I'm now Olympia Mercuri. A woman very different from the woman he once met in a bar. The one he rejected when he found out she was pregnant. You be careful, Olympia. You know perfectly well that Captain Sibilia is sane and his feet are set firmly on ground. I want you to know that he even asked me if you attempted to take his life. And what did you tell him? Nothing. You know very well I cannot betray you. And he told me he tried his best to save that Greek and his wife as well. But then he couldn't. My Captain Sevilla knows that the real Olympia Mercuri is already dead. But then you didn't tell him that you killed her, correct? No. But then I couldn't help feeling that I was a traitor to him. You listen well. You should side with someone, Roque. Are you with me now, or are you with Captain Sevilla? You can't hold me here forever, Carreño. Goodbye, Evidence. I cannot take the chance that someone might steal this. <laughs> I should be the only one who knows. worth a lot of money. More. More than what you've given me so far. Don't deny it, Mr. Policeman. I know you're actually in love with me. You like me. You shut your mouth, Chicky. Listen, don't provoke me. Franklin told me a woman disappointed him very much. Could that girl be Chicky? Answer me, Carreño. Are you in love with Chicky? Is that why you want to destroy me? Because you're jealous? Yes, you're right there, my darling. You're right. He's trying to destroy you because he knows that you're the only one I love, my darling. Lighter. Why don't you tell him that it was you who invited me to your bed? Franklin, 
Is it true that you've fallen in love with Chiki, but she's always treated you so badly? It's obvious that woman loves you, Villain Reva. She did all that drama just so I won't take you to prison. But then I'm so sorry, Mrs. Villain Reva, because your husband will come with me to the police station. No! No, you cannot take away my arrests like he was a criminal. I won't allow you to do this to him! Mrs. Chiki, listen, please calm down unless you want to go to prison too. Don't worry, my son. I'm going to confer with some lawyers. Soon you'll be cleared of all these charges against you. Come on. You should stop raising your hopes so high, Mr. Villain Reva. I finally have the Silver Lily. Better come with me now, because you will rot in prison. Let's go. No! No! No, arrest us, no! Oh, let me go, no! Let me go, Roman, let me go! No way, sweetie, no way! No one forced you to strip at the bar, no. right? You walked the devil in me, and you know the only way I can quiet down. No, no! Baby, but then, but then, why like this? Why do you have to take me by force now? Because that's me, Ariana, a savage! And you used to like it, hmm? Yes, until now I like it. Listen, darling, listen. I still like it, but then, but then now, now, I just want to hug you, because I have a headache. Come on, please, I beg you, please. Whatever you say, my baby sugar. That's nice of you. Leave me, please. Just go out for a few minutes so that, so that I can prepare a little surprise for you. I'll go out, I'll go out, sweetie. Yes, go now. But then you better hurry up. Mm -hmm. This thing can't wait long. Yes. And now what to do?